Picture this, you're cruising down the road, wind in your hair, or at least wind hitting your rear view mirror. Suddenly, a yellow gremlin pops up on your dashboard, the dreaded check engine light. Fear not, my fellow motorist, it might not be the apocalypse. We've all been there. One common culprit is a P2101 trouble code. Don't let the jargon scare you. It's just a fancy way of saying your car needs a bit of TLC. The good news is, this code doesn't mean your engine is about to spontaneously combust. It simply means there's an issue with your throttle actuator control motor circuit. Think of it as a miscommunication between your car's brain, the engine control unit, and its foot, the throttle actuator. Now, let's talk about this throttle actuator character. In the good old days, your gas pedal was directly connected to the throttle. You press the pedal, the throttle opens, air rushes into the engine, and boom, you accelerate. These days, it's all electronic. Your pedal talks to the throttle actuator, which then opens and closes the throttle valve. So, when you get a P2101 code, it means this communication line is experiencing some technical difficulties. It's like your engine is trying to order a pizza, but the phone line is down. Frustrating, right? There are a few reasons why your car might be throwing this particular tantrum. Sometimes, it's a simple case of a dirty throttle body. Over time, grime and gunk can build up, confusing the actuator. It's like trying to send a message on a smoke signal with a damp fire, not gonna happen. Other times, the problem might be electrical. A faulty sensor, a loose connection, or a wiring issue can all throw the system out of whack. It's the automotive equivalent of a crossed wire in your brain. Things just don't work right. Section 4. Putting on our detective hats. Diagnosing the P2101 code. The first step in fixing any problem is figuring out what's causing it, which might involve getting your hands a little dirty. Don't worry, we're not talking about rebuilding the engine here. Start by visually inspecting the throttle body for any obvious dirt or debris. If it looks like a coal mine, a good cleaning might do the trick. Next, check the wiring and connectors around the throttle actuator. Look for anything loose, broken, or suspiciously chewed on by rodents with a penchant for automotive wiring. If you're feeling adventurous and own a multimeter, you can even test the actuator motor itself for continuity and resistance. Section 5. P2101 Code Fixes Channel your inner mechanic. It's easier than you think. Once you've identified the culprit, it's time to channel your inner mechanic. If the throttle body is dirty, a good cleaning with throttle body cleaner usually does the trick. It's like giving your car a spa day, but for its engine. For electrical gremlins, the fix might involve replacing a faulty sensor, reconnecting a loose wire, or simply giving a dodgy connector a good wiggle. In some cases, the throttle actuator itself might be the problem. If that's the case, you'll likely need to replace it. Don't worry, it's not brain surgery, though it might require a trip to the mechanic if you're not comfortable with a wrench. Section 6. Conquering the P2101 Back to enjoying the open road. That wasn't so bad, was it? The P2101 code might sound intimidating, but with a bit of detective work and some basic mechanical skills, or a trusty mechanic, it's a manageable problem. Remember, regular maintenance and a keen eye for warning signs can prevent many issues before they even arise. Now, go forth and enjoy the open road, knowing you've got the knowledge to tackle those pesky engine codes head on. And remember, if all else fails, there's always duct tape and cable ties. Just kidding, or am I?